Hi everyone, welcome back to part two of Elements and Atoms. If you haven't watched part one, uh, definitely go back and watch part one before coming to this video. Uh, so I'm going to continue on from this particular slide here. And let's have a look at some more specific atoms. So here I've got a hydrogen atom. And a hydrogen atom is an atom with one proton within its nucleus. And hydrogen has one electron in its first shell. Hydrogen is a very reactive element. Hydrogen is very keen to actually um, get one more electron in its shell and it often forms a bond with another hydrogen atom forming what we call H2. And this means that hydrogen makes a bond with another hydrogen atom forming H2. Two. But the main thing I want to show you now is that um, what specific atoms from specific elements look like and how they increase in size with the increasing number of particles as I move down the periodic table. So let's have a look at oxygen, which is a larger atom. Notice the two electrons in the first orbital shell level and the six in the second. So oxygen is an atom with eight protons, which are positively charged within the nucleus. And it's got eight neutrons as well within the nucleus. And it's got eight electrons, which is the same as the number of protons always, except when it's an ion. The eight electrons arrange themselves in a particular way. You'll get two electrons in the first shell, and you get six electrons in the outer shell. Now, atoms are most happy when they actually have eight electrons in the outer shell. So oxygen will be very keen to have a chemical reaction with another element that can give it two electrons in its outer shell. And it can either take them or it can share electrons with another atom. All right, so oxygen can chemically react with another atom, with another element, by either taking two electrons from it or sharing electrons with it. Um, and this determines what kind of chemical reaction or what kind of chemical bond that it's able to make. More on that in, in future lessons of science. Let's get bigger. A sodium atom. A sodium atom has got 11 protons in the nucleus, 12 neutrons, and 11 electrons. Remembering the electron number is the same as the number of protons, except in an ion. And for now, we don't need to worry about what an ion is. Sodium has got two electrons in the first shell. Okay, it's happy. It's got eight electrons in the second shell, that's happy, but it's got one electron in its outermost shell, which it doesn't like. Sodium is really keen to actually kick this electron out and give it away. Sodium is explosive. If you put a pure piece of sodium into water, or even just in the air, it can explode. And it explodes because it's so willing, so keen to get rid of this electron, causing a big chemical reaction. Um, it will give it to whatever atom, whatever element will take it. But you can see the element or the atom is growing larger as I move down the periodic table. More protons, more neutrons in the nucleus, and more electrons going around the shells of the atom. The electrons can figure themselves in a very particular way, which I want you to note down. For the first 20 elements at pre-VC level or pre-senior level, the year 11, year 12, um, the configuration is as follows. The atoms like to arrange, or the electrons inside of the atoms, like to arrange themselves as 2882 configuration for the first 20 elements. And that's as far as we go before the senior levels. Okay, so the electrons like to arrange themselves as 2882, and I've got here an image of what that looks like for each element all the way up to the 20th element, calcium, which has 20 protons within its nucleus and 20 electrons that go around it. But the pattern that we will be following is 2882, um, the structure of electrons around the atom. So please note down this slide as well into your study notes. Let's compare the size or the masses of the particles. So we call these particles, the protons, neutrons and electrons, subatomic particles. 
meaning they're below the atomic level, below the atom, smaller than the whole atom itself. Neutrons are equal to 1839 electrons. Protons are equal to 1836 electrons. So you can see the neutron is slightly more massive than the proton, but both the neutron and the proton are much, much larger than the electron. The electron is almost negligible to the atomic mass, which is why we don't include the number of electrons when we calculate the atomic mass, because it just doesn't make much of a difference at all. It's the neutrons and the protons that determine the mass of an atom. Okay, let's practice reading the periodic table together. So I'm going to do the first three with you. Um, if you've got a periodic table handy, um, it could be worth just having it next to you so you can do it with me. Um, and then I've got another three after this, which I'd like you to practice with a friend. Um, so the atomic number for oxygen, it would be eight up here. The atomic mass, we round up this number to 16. Number of protons is the same as the atomic number, which is eight. Number of neutrons will be 16 atomic mass minus the atomic number, which gives me eight neutrons. The number of electrons is the same as the atomic number, which is eight. Let's do zinc together. So zinc, if I remember right, is Zn on the periodic table. Its atomic number is 30. Its atomic mass, we round this one down to 65. Number of protons is the same as the atomic number. Number of neutrons is the mass, take away the atomic number, which gives me 35 neutrons. 35 neutrons plus 30 protons gives me an atomic mass of 65. Number of electrons is the same as the number of protons, which is 30. Let's do one more together. This one is lithium, I believe, on the periodic table. Its atomic number is 3. Atomic mass, we'll round this one up to 7. Number of protons is the same as the atomic number, which is 3. Number of neutrons is 7, atomic mass, minus 3, the atomic number which gives me four. Four neutrons plus three protons gives me a mass of seven. And the number of electrons is the same as number of protons, which is three. Now these next three, I would like you to do with a partner, okay, and see if you can figure out their values. And you can always, if both you and your partner get stuck, you can always Google the solution. Let's keep moving forwards. Okay, after you've practiced um, filling in these periodic table elements, uh, it's time to move on to some private study. So I want you to take some notes from this particular PowerPoint, constructing your study notes. I want you to read your chemistry booklet, 285 to 287, okay, not too much at all. Uh, there's a complete structure of an atom activity worksheet on teams, which I'd like you to do. And I also want you to complete size of an atom activity worksheet also on teams. Once you've done that, you can complete 7.3 questions 1 to 15 um, plus 17 on page 287 to 288 of your chemistry booklet. And you can begin and complete any of these Education Perfect modules uh, which are relevant to you. Thank you for paying attention for this particular episode. Um, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.